Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. We have Page of Wands and you may be receiving communication from this person. Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. We have Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, wanting to, wanting a new beginning here. Ace of, definitely Ace of Wands. We have the Hanged Man, Pisces Energy. Clarify the page of wands, the five of pentacles. Hmm. Clarify the ace of pentacles, the four of wands. Somebody's talking about they want commitment with you, or they're going to be talking about they want to settle down, they want commitment, they want to marry you. Talking about the ace of wands, rejection. I don't know, you guys are maybe not going to want to talk to this person. Or this is somebody that has been resisting the connection. Clarify the hanged man. Clarify the hanged man. We have the page of pentacles. Mm. I'm kind of getting the vibe already that this person didn't want to have to be the one to reach out. Okay, I think they were wanting you to reach out to them. What is the five of page of wands and the five of pentacles? Because this is kind of like, I feel like you guys are maybe going to reject this communication. Yeah, hold, hold back from them. What about the four of pentacles? The Knight of Swords and the Magician. Or it's almost like if this person was waiting for you to reach out to them or they were hoping that you would and you're holding back from them and you're not doing it, somebody feels like they want to rush in. They can maybe feel like you're doing this because you're leaving them behind with the Five of Wands. They may feel like you're, or not the Five of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. They may feel like you're leaving them out in the cold or they feel like you're icing them out like or whatever. They feel like you're rejecting them or they feel lonely or they feel like you're just leaving them behind. So I think that this person is going to come up with communication uh, with the magician here, Aries, Virgo, Gemini energy for me. Um, this person is going to want to, what, are, what is this person? Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What about that? The Knight of Cups. Okay, clarify. Who's this Queen of Cups? Death. See, this is somebody. And what about this King of Wands? The Devil. See, this person's toxic. Give me one more card on the Queen of Cups and the Devil. The Hermit. See, I'm telling you, this is somebody that has just ended something with another person. And then they're rushing in towards you, wanting to spend time with you, wanting you back. Yeah, wanting to apologize now. This is somebody that's been watching you. Yeah, look, there's that cleanup card I saw. Yeah, cutting karmic ties, doing the inner work. So I really feel like somebody is breaking up. Who did had a reading like this? Sad. Some of you guys be doing with a Sagittarius. We do have the King of Wands here and the Page of Wands. This person is ending something with somebody else and coming back towards you. But why are they coming out as the devil? Capricorn energy. They have a. They still have a lot of healing to do. They're still toxic, or they still have an addiction, or they still have some type of something here. Destructive habit, way of thinking um maybe they are wanting to fix that yeah we have it's time maybe somebody feels like they will okay so if somebody was choosing to be with another person to avoid having you know like those types of people that instead of changing for a person they go find somebody that will, will won't require them to change or that will accept less i think that that's what this person was doing and i think that they feel like by choosing you they also are choosing to grow and heal because this is somebody that views you as somebody that they would have to have grown they would have to grow and to heal to be with. So it's almost like this person is wanting to change now or something like that. They're wanting to change. They're not wanting to. They're definitely leaving somebody out in the cold. That could be what the page of wands is. They're, they're reaching out to you after rejecting another person or even maybe ghosting another person or kind of just, yeah, it's something going on like that. But I don't know. This person may end up getting rejected. This person was resisting this connection. I think that they were resisting change. It, it, if this person was rejecting you, they were is because they were rejecting themselves or they were rejecting wanting to make change. It really was nothing personal to you. They just knew that being with you meant that they were going to have to change. They were going to have to heal. They were going to have to grow up. And I don't think that they were ready for that. So it's almost like this person's like, you know what? I feel like I do want to grow up. I want to change. I'm going to go over here and sue. Um, you know, the collective. What is Ace of Wands and the rejection card? Because I don't know. I feel like you guys, we have Judgment and the Hermit again, Virgo energy and Scorpio energy with Judgment. What does that do with you? 
I told you guys I have very loud trucks out here where I live at for whatever reason. The tower, there's three major arcanas here. Some type of big change is coming in here. What about the tower, Scorpio energy again, the ten of pentacles, okay, and the three of wands. This person is just coming in out of the blue. Like, this is somebody you have not been speaking to. There's been no contact between you and this person. Somebody's coming in out of the blue saying that they're ready to manifest with you. And how is my collective going to feel about this? Yeah, you're not going to know what to do. You're going to feel like you maybe don't have enough information or you haven't seen enough from this person to be able to even make a decision about whether or not you want to even put yourself in that situation with them. Yeah, you're going to be indecisive about this. I think this person is going to feel rejected by your indecisiveness, which is funny because I feel like obviously they were indecisive about you. There's two different people here. There's a passport, there's another person, and there's you. So obviously they had a choice and they're somewhat feeling rejected by the fact that you don't want to just take them back, but whatever. We have the Hange Man and the Page of Pentacles. What's that about? We have the Seven of... Somebody's like rethinking things and they feel like you're the one that they want to be with long term or you're the one that they want to offer something to or they want a new beginning with you. What about the Forest Sword? Yeah, after a time of speaking... Or speaking... After a time of no contact. Yeah. I think you withdrew and you just kind of gave, gave it to the Divine. Yeah, this person... Somebody's going through, going through the Dark Night of the Soul. So they have been doing a lot of thinking. Yeah, somebody's been doing a lot of thinking. Um... They've come to some type of clarity. Clarity. It's almost like this person wants you to open up to them. Yeah, it's like this person wants you to open up. They want you to express how you're feeling at this time to them. I also feel like this period of introspection that this person or this dark night of the soul or this disconnection between the two of you has really made this person realize how they feel about you. It's made it very clear to them. So what is going on between them and this um, did I just mess up this deck? What did I do? Something's not right. Is it just feel weird? I don't know. I guess it just feels weird. Um, what? So what happened? What, what happened with them in this third party? That they're, now they're wanting to cut off. What happened? We have the Empress. What about the Empress? Taurus energy. The Queen of Cups. The Ace of Cups. So what's this mean for the third party? Inter oh, yeah. I feel like this person met somebody who... So what's, how do they feel specifically about the third party? Okay, date and... See, what about... What happened with this third? How do they feel about this other person? They don't know. I told you. Didn't I just say like two minutes ago that this person has been undecis indecisive about who, if, whether they wanted to be with you or somebody else? It's almost like this person. So how do they feel about that person? Do they have feelings? I don't know. Two of wands. Yeah. The, all I see is that this person has had a choice. They needed to make a choice between two people. What, what about this queen of cups? Hiding feelings in the Six of Swords. What does that do with the third party, though? Justice. Yeah, they had some type of karmic contract with this person. Eight of Swords that they were stuck in. They were, they were stuck kind of in that situation until they learned what they needed to learn from that person. Yeah, they, yeah, look at this. Accepting a girl's self-care healthy choices. Yeah, this person was just, that's just where they were at when they were refusing to grow and heal. Or maybe spirit put them in that situation so that they could grow and heal. Yeah, this person, I feel like what happened, why things have gone left between them and this third party, like it could have been already left, but it's because they met you. It's like, let me see. Tell me more because I'm not seeing it very clearly. Let's see, what are their feelings and intentions for my collective? Well, how do they feel about you? Feelings and intentions for my collective. Feelings and intentions for my collective. See, you're the empress. They feel like you are their person. I, I was already getting that when the cards came out. They feel like you're the divine femme. They know you're, they either know you're their twin or they just know that you, they feel like you're the, you're their person. They feel like you're the total package. Tell me more. And they want to know what's up with you. Oh, this person feels like you're hiding their feelings and emotion. 
Oh, it's funny. It's almost like you and this person are in the same are going to be in the same energy right now. They're in this energy where like they want to be with you, but they don't know how you feel right now. They want to, they're curious to know what's going on with you and how you're feeling about them. They want you to be vulnerable. They want you to come in and express your feelings and emotions to them. Unfortunately, for some reason, this person is a coward and they don't want to come towards you and ask you how you feel. That's part of the problem because it's like this person wants to know what you're thinking and feeling so that they can make a decision. So they may come in and test the waters with you to see. Yeah, they're, they're going to come in and test the waters with you. That's what I'm kind of getting here. But they're they're going to leave that person. Let's see. Are they going to come in and get... Since so they're curious to know what's going on with my collective, are they going to come in and... Five of Cups. See, they're in this energy of grieving, breakup, loss, regret, sadness. So are they just going to sulk? What are they going to do? We have King of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Are they going to do anything? Or tame? They're trying to like resist coming towards you. I don't like that. So they want to know what's up with you. They want to know if you still have feelings and emotions for them. They want to know how you feel about them. Yeah. But I don't really see them. They want to collaborate with you or something like that. They may even feel like they're in a much more secure energy than they were before. But the fact that this person's afraid of rejection with this five of pentacles and this rejection card here. Yeah, they they want to restart things with you. And I think that they want to be with you over this other person. But they don't know if that's something that you even still want. They are in heavy regret. They feel a big loss without you in their life. So, but see, this is the problem here. If they really wanted to be with you, they would leave that other situation. They would work on themselves and then come towards you correct, but they're not doing it. So that's the problem. So what's happening next here? The world. So some type of cycle coming to an end. Okay, tell me more about it. What a catch. What about what a catch in the world? Lessons. Separation is necessary. Learning divine lessons. What about what a catch though? Two of wands and divine time. And they're, they're needing to make a choice about something here. They're needing to make a choice about closing out a cycle. It's like they know they need to close out a cycle, but they're not doing it because they also have a fear of the unknown or something like that. Or you and this person did need to be apart, though, because the separation is necessary. I told you that person they were supposed to be over with that person for they had a contract with that person. They had a contract with that person for them to teach each other lessons. So that's where they were supposed to have been for a time being. Now I feel like there's like this energy of them needing to to choose a path here. So what does this mean for my collective? And they know that that losing you is a big loss. So you will receive a message from this person. You will receive, yeah, and the divine is guiding them to come towards you. What is this communication or this page of cups? The page of cups to me is usually an apology. But why is forbidden here? Oh, why is forbidden here? So they're... It's almost like, because I just saw Forbidden here and I just saw the Wheel of Fortune. So Spirit says that like this connection was like, you and this person were being kept apart for a time being because the connection's still there, but you and this person needed to be physically apart for a time being. What about Forbidden? Two of Pentacles. Um, so what are they going to do? Ripped apart. It's like this person wants to get you to express your emotions to them. Like that they feel like you're hiding from them. It's like, um, so, what about, so what about the Two of Pentacles? The Knight of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Six of Cups. What's the name for my collection, though? The Four of Swords, okay? And the Long Wait. Six of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Mm. Karmic Partner. Mm. I see them coming in with the communication with what intentions mm. where is that deck I don't really like to use this deck I'm going to be honest with you <laughs> I do not like using this deck what is this person's intention? I see them coming towards you with an apology, a small expression of emotions, not coming in too, but too much expression. Yeah, this person has a, definitely has a choice. It's like, 
they feel like they they love you for certain reasons and they do have love or some feelings and emotions for this other person but for different reasons i don't know could be history so they're coming in they're going to be coming reaching out there's heavy energy here of them reaching out to you so what are they coming in talking about they're coming in talking about marriage or something but see the rival here though they still have a third party interference this per your person is choosing the rival strong influence on your person rival dominating the situation so what about that rival we have working it out working things out a final effort to save the love trying to rekindle the spark okay and we have C. okay emotionally immature stringing you along as plan b C. so what is that what, they're coming in to tell you this what does this mean for my collective friends caught nights out somebody got caught cheating like it's some weird thing going on here where like they this person was trying to have their cake and eat it too they maybe told this other person that they wanted to try to like work on things or something like that or they wanted to try one more time but this card is about ghosting see they got why did they make the decision see divine intervention on the back of the deck reconciliation in the world see that's why i want to get this deck out so what so they chose to try to work things out with this rival but what's it doing with ghosting see i'm trash the got the game down once a cheater always a cheater you're not the first or the last so what's it have to do with it? so baiting somebody like seduce this person or like yeah you or use their weaknesses against them to get them to try to like get back together with them what about ghosting though? Convenience over heart. Yeah, avoiding confrontation, stringing you along. It's like they wanted to stay in the situation for convenience. Like, I don't know, like it was something convenient about that situation that they wanted to keep holding on to. And it was comfortable there. But it says this card literally says heart belongs somewhere else. I think that this person got caught cheating on like this person got caught with you. Like some, whoever this third party was found evidence of them talking to you or associating with you on their phone or even somebody in their friend group or their circle. Something, something messy went on here. This person was trying to say that they were out, they were working, that they were just working when they were actually with you or something like that. So what does this mean for my collective? What does this mean for my collective? Marriage, I, guys, I was already seeing this card in my head when, when, before I even started pulling cards. Taking love to the next level wants to marry you. Married man or woman. Okay, so if they want to marry you, then what are they doing? Fooling both of all. Oh, dishonest to both selfish intentions. There's something that this person wanted to keep getting from this person and something that they want. Well, it's like they see they view as the marriage material one, right? But there was something that they wanted to keep getting from this other person. Yeah, because didn't I say they wanted their cake and eat it too? This card literally says it on there. And this card says selfish intentions. What do they want to keep getting from this other person? What do they want to keep getting from this other person? Fear of intimacy, no sex life with current partner. Trying to be loyal to one person, Lord. What do they want from this other person? Transformation. Deep personal transformation. Can no longer resist change. A change for the better. What did they want from them? I feel like it was divine intervention. Expect a miracle. Your angels are going to intervene. Ask your angels to inter ask your angels to assist. There, I was gonna say it, but I was just like, I was just waiting for it to come out so I can show you guys. But yeah, <sighs> met online, having an online dating profile, suspicious online activity. Guys, I swear, like they were with somebody that they they didn't even like. They weren't even sleeping with this person. And then, like, they got on, they were on dating apps, like, because we have caught here. They were, like, dating other people or talking to other people while they were with this person. Met you while they were cheating on this person. Wow. And then, feels pre they're feeling pressure to make a decision. They are gaining clarity. Finally walking away from somebody that they were in, they were just with this person for personal benefit, for money. I don't think it was sex because we have avoiding sex here. So it was money, a place to live, comfort. It was just stability, things like that. In the relationship for money. 
Wow. Scared, staying in that situation, using that part person as a placeholder. Because they were too afraid to take a leap of faith on this connection with you. Look, we have cleanup showing itself again. See, this person was trying to, this person was living a double life, guys. Not even playing. They were definitely living a double life. What is online dating, though? What's online dating? Online dating. Workplace affair. Fooling around at work, having an affair with a coworker, uses work as an excuse. Online dating and workplace affair. Playing dumb. Pretending not to know the truth, doing anything to avoid change, avoiding responsibility. What does this have to do with you? Online dating, playing dumb in a workplace affair. What's that have to do with my collective? The heart leads. I'm telling you, following their heart, choosing to be happy, no longer hiding their feelings. This person is trying to like, what are they doing online? Home, living in together. Yeah, there's somebody that they live with, but what about online? Love, mm. Back and forth. All I know, guys, is that this person was happening between you and somebody else. And they couldn't make up their mind. And they were lying to you. They were lying to this other person. See, madly in love. Their world revolves around you. Hard to control themselves. What is keeping... If that's how this person feels about you. What is keeping... It's just money? What is fear? What is keeping this person from pursuing what their heart is guiding them to do? Well, spirit says they're going to do it. Because <laughs> we have walking away coming out again. Leaving someone behind. Ending a love triangle. Tired of the emotional mess. Yeah, give me one more card. Crush. It's because this person wasn't sure if they could trust this connection between the two of you. Like, you're, you're most likely the newer person. Yeah, you're most likely the newer one. And it says, secret admirer loves you but not ready to act early stages of a relationship. So they feel like you guys just didn't know each other long enough. Like, they didn't know you well enough. They weren't sure if they could trust this connection. Yeah, they were guarded period point blank but yeah they're getting some type of clarity now resisting connection their guard is up trying not to fall in love so that's why yeah but they may be getting this clarity too late they're getting clarity about you but now it says feels it's too late to fix things feels pressure to make a decision taking a long time to decide but we have walking away here so they're going to end up walking away from that situation yep look at this C confirmation preparing for union look an unexpected Making sense, but they're hiding it from this other person. This person is literally preparing to be in a relationship with you. I don't think that they've walked away from this person yet. This is mess. This is crazy, crazy guys. They're with another person, but preparing to be to come into union with you. They're just there. Yeah, they're longing for you. Clearing the path to union, wanting to surprise you, making silent moves, and then we have unexpected events sudden change unplayed un they weren't expecting to meet you and now they're longing for you longing to be be together missing you nostalgia suffering in silence yeah while you guys are in this separation needing time to clear their mind temporary break too many obstacles to overcome yeah they're yeah and you guys are here in this energy where you're like fed up with this person you know like, i deserve better 